what is a stable coin and why a stable coin is generating a business the size of Circle. And now with a market cap of 20, 25, 30 billion after the IPO now, how does a stable coin actually work? So Circle deals in USDC or US dollar coin or Euro C, Euro coin. And so customers like you and I can deposit our actual fiat currency, US dollars or maybe euros, with Circle. Circle sends a request to convert that to the stable coin. That's the USDC or the Euro C. Circle then deposits that currency at a bank for a reserve fund. They use BlackRock. And then a customer would receive USDC equivalent to the value of the deposit you made in your fiat currency. Then customers can use those coins just as they would their own fiat currency. Most of the time, it would be for use as a peer-to-peer -peer digital payment, sort of reducing the number of middlemen. Of course, Circle kind of becomes the middleman here. The blockchain, usually Ethereum, but, but there's other blockchains that USDC will support as well. That's what makes the coin stable. It basically just mimics the value of the dollar or the euro. So in Circle's IPO filing, here's what they had on balance. So just over 61 billion. They also have 77.5 million in longer term investments. 61 billion dollars in total deposits backing up USDC. First quarter of 2025, most of Circle's revenue is actually just interest income from that USDC reserve fund, the $60 billion earning about 4% per year. That equated to just shy of $560 million in revenue. So that's a stable coin. That's how Circle operates. And the idea here is to eliminate middleman and reduce the transaction fee that merchants have to pay and ultimately pass on to consumers in digital payments.